Chesapeake man says the Department of Motor Vehicles, well, it's violating his right to free speech. His license plate read I-C-U-H-A-J-I. -I. We recreated this image for you so you can see for yourself. Phonetically, it reads I-C-U-Haji. The DMV says the plates must be returned, but the man has appealed that decision. Tonight on your sides, Ed McNamara spoke with the man's lawyer today. And Alvida asked him if the owner intended for Haji to be an offensive slur. He said, no, of course not. So I said, then what does Haji mean to him? And he would not comment any further. This is a recreation of the license plate Army veteran Sean Bueno had on his car before the DMV asked him to send it back. It reads, I see you, Haji. The consensus in this parking lot is... I see you, Haji. I have no idea what that means. What does it mean? What does that even mean? Do you know what that means if you saw I it? I had no idea what it does mean. What is that? The dictionary defines Haji as, quote, one who has made a pilgrimage to Mecca. But the word can also be used as slang, often to describe people of Arab descent in a derogatory way. The popular website Urban Dictionary suggests Haji is offensive, a disparaging term for Arabs, especially those of Islamic faith. Yeah, I would say it was kind of offensive, you know, uh, because I know a lot of uh, Arabs, Americans. Well, if, if people saying Haji means something wrong, I think they should take it down. No, I don't see anything wrong with it. If you ask the DMV, there is no debate. The agency has a hearings office where people in Buenos' situation can voice arguments to keep plates. The final decision, though, rests with the commissioner. And if the customer doesn't agree, it can be appealed in circuit court. That's what Bueno did. In his appeal, he claims the commissioner's decision violates the First Amendment. He writes, quote, it creates an impermissible content-based restriction of free speech. Bueno's lawyer told 10 on your side the real issue is not the plate, but the abuse of power. He says this bumper sticker factored into the commissioner's decision. And as you can see, Bueno has taken the plate down, at least for now. So when determining if a plate violates guidelines, the DMV says it does consider all bumper stickers, decals, pictures, or any other materials that could influence how a person looking at that plate might interpret the message. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. The last month we told